Alrighty, this is probably the saddest sight we've got around here. This is a little Chinese 110cc pocket ATV. This thing has had the living hell beaten out of it repeatedly. There's like no tread left on any of the tires, they're all totally flat. So they can't hit hold air longer than half an hour. I've had to fix the steps with some metal roofing material because it's just had the hell beaten out of it. My brother doesn't really take good care of it. It's his. Uh, it burns more oil than gas because the motor wasn't broken in properly. And, uh, just look at it. It's, that's what's left of the chain after it's been sitting outside. It's missing bolts and everything else. It's just uh, not good. But we'll see if she starts. It started in like minus five degree weather before, but it's been sitting since June, so I guess we'll see. It burns more oil than it does gas, and every time it gets taken out, something else breaks on it. It's not a not a reliable piece of equipment, and the uh, handlebar mount attachments broken of course and well, yeah, pretty much it's failed on me in the middle of nowhere several times so I'll never you know I might might put a, a newer motor in it depending if I have some spare time in the springtime after school's done I had to take the battery out because we started to get a bit of a cold spell which is kinda rare but you never know. Well, we did get snow for a day here in the uh, in the BC Lower Mainland. So hopefully she starts. It's got enough fuel. There's no fuel shut off, no nothing. It's a very poor design, but yeah, it was a lot of fun for the less than a year it lasted. <laughs> Okay, so I just checked the oil and there's nothing in it. Shows the, the amount of care this thing has been through, but it goes through about a half quart of oil or half a liter of oil every couple of days, so it's the only stuff I got. Just Motomaster ATV oil, which I'm going to use Amsoil Synthetic in the Wolverines next time. So, then I just checked all of them, they're full, so I don't have a use for it. I actually used to just use used motor oil or whatever I had, transmission, fluid, anything. Because it would just burn it so fast at that point. I always took care of it. I changed the oil a couple times and then all of a sudden it started burning so damn much that it's, it just wasn't worth putting good oil in it. So, Also, this thing doesn't have an air cleaner either. Great, great move on their on their behalf, because these things get run in dusty conditions all the time, and it just ruins the ring. The dust actually scratches the inside of the cylinders. It's little abrasive particles. It's almost like putting sand down your intake. It just ruins the ruins the motor. So let's see what we got in here. This thing's been sitting for quite a while, and they just used it without adding any oil. So. Uh, there's enough for a cold start on there. He's run this thing out of oil quite a few times, actually. And all of a sudden it would just die out in the middle of nowhere. And he'd be calling me to come get him because it just just was not reliable. Alright. It's time for the famous cold start. Alright, I'm going to push this guy out. It's all the tires are flat, so... Be back in a flash. Alrighty, she's ready to go. So here goes. Just got this similar kind of key to my Yamaha's. It's also got a clicker, which is kind of this is the, probably the coolest thing about this. So we'll put the key in there. Turn that on. And it is actually quite interesting. It, no, it doesn't seem to want to work. Uh-oh. I think the battery's done. Oh dear. All right, take two. That should give it enough of a boost. Uh oh, better get that out of the water. Okay. 
find the key again. Uh oh, I got nothing here. Oh no, I think she's had it. It won't even turn over. Let's check the fuses here. Okay, after much trying, I think I got the 350 battery in there. So let's see if that works. And we got nothing. Oh well. I think she's hooped. Well, nothing seems to be working. Well, that sucks. I dragged that battery out here for nothing. Oh well. There you go. Guess if you buy cheap crap, it's not reliable. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for today. Stay tuned for more. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out, I guess. Alright, so since I'm a sucker for happy endings. Yeah, I know. We gotta have we gotta have a happy ending, so we're gonna pull out the heavy artillery. We're gonna add about seven more cylinders to it. So, shall we? is long enough. <sighs> All right. Speed manual transmission. Okay, let's go for it. Now, in case you haven't watched my other video, it's got a K&N high flow intake, a Flowmaster exhaust, and right now it's got the 87 performance tune on the super chips because my clutch started to slip, so I had to knock the power down just a bit until I got the clutch replaced. So it's almost Christmas time, so hopefully it comes soon. And uh, just get a quick shot of the exhaust over here. Oh yes. There's the neighbor annoyance factor right there. They just love me. <laughs> Alright, hope you enjoyed this. I think I put a happy ending in here. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do a little red line for a good time because I don't want to hurt my baby. Alrighty. Stay tuned for more.